Today I'm going to show you how to make your photo look really old in Lightroom. Welcome back to another Lightroom editing tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to make your photos look really old to get that old vintage look in Lightroom. So if you look at old images, they tend to have like really distorted colors. They're not pretty accurate. It's really faded. They're not the sharpest image, have a lot of green. And so that's really what we're going for. And you also want to have an image that looks kind of old. You don't want an image of like a really fancy car and slap the preset on there like, oh, this is going to look vintage. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you have a photo that already looks kind of old. And so you can make that edit and make it look more realistic. And so if you look at this image right here, you can see it's pretty dark. There's a lot of grain. If I zoom in, you can see there's a lot of grain around the image. And the colors aren't really accurate either. There's a lot of like purples and greens. And if you look at old images, they tend to have that a lot. And so that's what we're kind of going for in this edit. If we look at it quick before, you can see it's a really nice image. The image is really sharp. You have really nice colors on here. And you really want to get rid of that because old photos don't have the best colors. They aren't really sharp and they don't have a lot of contrast. And so that's exactly what I did with this edit. I also have a video on how to get that vintage film look, that Portra 400 style. I also have another video on how to get that 35mm look, which kind of has that other vintage vibe to it. So definitely go check that out. I'll leave a link to those down in the description below. And before we get started, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe for more Lightroom editing tutorials. And let me know down in the comments below what other presets or videos you would like to see. Alright, so I went ahead and made a virtual copy so we can get started with a clean edit. Now the first thing I want to do is bring down the contrast quite a lot. And so if you look at all the images, they don't have a lot of contrast, they aren't the sharpest. And so really bringing that down helps give that old vibe to it. And a lot of old images also have a warmer temperature just a little bit, and also have a little bit of magenta as well. So I'm going to increase the tint sliders and the temperature just to make it in that tone. And then with the highlights, I want to decrease those just so we get a little bit more detail up here. I also want to bring down the shadows just overall making the image darker since the old images don't tend to be as bright. Then I also want to bring down the whites, blacks a little bit, and then also bring down the exposure just a hair. Alright, you can see I already made the image a little darker. And then with the texture, I actually want to bring that up a lot. There's a lot of old images, they have a lot of grain. They aren't perfect, so you see a lot of texture within them. The clarity, I also want to bring down. Because as more clarity, you get a bit of a sharper image. I want to bring that down so it looks a bit more faded. So it's not as perfect. Now with the dehaze, I want to bring that down just a little bit. Kind of gives that light look to it. A lot of old images, they aren't really saturated either. So I want to bring down the saturation quite a lot. Just increase the vibrance so we have a little bit of color back. And so these are just like the basic edits I did before and after. And it's already starting to get in that old look. Now we want to move on to the tone curve. A lot of old images, they don't have like the deepest black, so I want to bring up the black point. And then bring it down to add just a little bit of contrast to it. And now I'll bring this point up a little bit here. Just brighten it up. And then I want to bring down the brightest point. Alright, there you go. If you look at a quick before and after, just gave it a little bit of faded look in the darker parts of the image. And so now we want to move on to the even saturation luminance sliders. And so now we're going to be adjusting the colors, make it look a little imperfect. And so with the reds, I want to bring that over to an orange. Then the orange bring that to the red. I also want to have the reds desaturated, the orange is saturated. And then I'm going to darken these up a little bit. There you go. If you look at skin tones of old images, they really tend to have like that purple or greenish hue to it. And so you don't want the perfect skin tones because then that won't look as old. And so I'm just going to adjust the yellows a little bit. There we go. Bring that up. And especially with this blue right here in the background, I want to adjust that a little bit. Make that a little darker blue. Then I also want to make that a little bit of teal. Kind of gives almost that greenish vibe to it. 
and then the greens, I'll desaturate that all the way, and bring the aquas down, and then bring down the blues, and then the greens, I'll make them brighter. So we don't want a lot of dynamic range in this image, it's going to be fairly flat, and so I want to keep it that way, bring that up a little bit, bring that down. There we go. I also want to add in a lot of that purple magenta-ish color to it. So I'm going to bring that down a little bit. And then increase the saturation for these two sliders. And then increase the saturation for these two. There we go. And then I'm going to make them a little bit brighter. And so there we go, if we look at it before and after, this really messed with the colors a little bit. Made them a little bit grungy, made them look more vintage. And so that's with the colors. Now we're going to move on to the color grading. And so this is really where we're going to add that old tint to it. And so if we go to the shadows, I really want to add some green to it. Since a lot of film old cameras, they have that greenish hue to the shadows. And bring that over just a little bit. There we go. Over here. And then the midtones, I actually want to add a little bit of purple. You can see just a hint of purple in images. And so bring the purple down to over here. And with the midtones, I'm going to keep it around the orange. Just add that little bit of warm vibe to it. All right, there we go. And so you can see with the before and after I just added that hint of purple in the image and kind of add that little bit of green and orange. So now with the detail, since this isn't going to be as sharp, I just want to add a little bit of sharpening and a little bit of noise reduction. But the biggest thing I really want to do is increase the vignette. If you look at old images, they have like a heavy, heavy vignette. And so I really want to decrease that down. I also want to add a lot of grain. They aren't the sharpest image, and so having that grain really sells that effect. I want to increase the size of the grain a little bit too. There we go. So just the before and after. You can see it's already starting to get there. Now with the camera calibration, I'm going to fine tune some of the colors a little bit. Make a little bit more towards the green. And the reds, I want to increase that. Increase the saturation. And with the green, I want to bring that more towards green. And then desaturate that. And then with the blue, I'm going to bring that down. And then increase the saturation. So just a quick before and after. Let's fine tune the colors a little bit. Image is looking a little dark, so I'm just going to adjust that a little bit up here. Alright, there we go. So that's the quick before and after. The image already starting to look old. There's a lot of purple and magenta. The colors look really faded and it really gives that old vibe to it. And so that's how you make an image look really old in Lightroom. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial on how to make your photo look really old in Lightroom. If you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more Lightroom editing tutorials and let me know down in the comments below what other presets or videos you would like to see. Thanks for watching!